like a heavy delay. Oh well. I don't know why. Hi everybody. When we get sauced this week. He's like a whew, 10 second delay for me. Alright, so a little bit of a delay for whatever reason. I probably screwed up something in settings, but if I don't get back to you right away with the chat, I apologize, but I will be checking periodically. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wait a minute or two to get going. Seven o'clock now, hopefully some more people uh, show up and uh, we'll go from there. If anybody's here um, and can hear me, please let me know in the comments. That'd be great. Uh, something doesn't seem right on my end. So again, if you can hear me, let me know, please. Change current bit rate. All right. It says we're good. I hope we're good. Let me check my phone if everybody's texting me and letting me know that something screwed up. It's always hard when I do it myself because I can't really look at both screens. We can hear you. I hope you had a fantastic week. Thank you very much. I hope you did as well. Great. Everybody can hear me. All right. Cool. Um, so this week's episode of Get Sauced, we are going to be doing a steak pinwheel uh, with a little bit of a white boy version of a chimichurri. Um, these are really good on flat top, griddle, uh, grill, however you want to do it. Uh, I'm going to do it in my cast iron. I've been heavily, heavily, heavily seasoning this cast iron, so I really want to start using it a little bit more. Um, so yeah, let me get my drink for this week. I have my ice. And I have this organic tequila, trace agaves. And... That's about good. Hope you all are drinking with me. Cheers. Get sauced. Let me know what you're drinking in the comments. Good. Let's see, my buddy telling me it's working? Yeah, it works. Okay, cool. All right. Steak pinwheels. Super, super easy. Uh, we have here a flank steak. We're gonna butterfly it to get it nice and thin. Uh, this one's not super thick. It's kind of kind of be a pain in the butt to butterfly, but I'm gonna make it work. Let me get a towel here. I have a towel, so I'm not blowing through a uh, paper towel like I usually do. So, with a steak pinwheel, you can stuff the steak with just about anything you want to stuff with. I don't like that there. That's a bad idea. It's going in here. Get on this pocket. Remind me, but I can't find my towel. Luke's trying to get in here. I have a block with the vacuum right now. So you can really stuff this with anything you want to stuff it with. We're gonna make like kind of chimichurri type kind of South American little feel to it. Got some queso fresco. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be delicious. With that being said, first let me just uh, got a new knife. This is a Luke. Come on, man. Second. Go, go get mom. Go ahead, go get her. Making sure he doesn't knock anything over. Sweet, he did it. So, back to my knife. This is a custom made PA Designs by my good friend Phil Adams. Um, cleaver that he made. He's a, he's a blacksmith. He also does amazing woodwork. Check him out. Um, I have a few of his knives. This one I saw and I really wanted. It's just, it's nice and heavy, uh, but it's not a huge handle on it. And his knives are, they're like incredibly sharp. And he, whenever you get a knife from him, it's free sharpening for life. You can stop by, he'll sharpen it up for you. He's an awesome dude. He's super talented. One of the most talented people I know. So again, this is a, a custom knife that he made and uh, I purchased. 
So, with that being said, let's clean up and butterfly this flank steak. So, with the flank steak, you'll see there's a heavy, heavy grain, and that's how we're going to butterfly. We're going to butterfly it with the grain. Now, we can go crazy here, and we can start really removing some fat. Um, there's not a ton of fat on this flank steak, so I'm not going to go crazy. Also, because of the way the grain, any intermuscular fat, you'll like have pop out in the middle there. Not a big deal. You don't have to clean it all up. It's fine to have a little bit of fat. Fat equals flavor. Um, but I'm just going to trim off some of this stuff that's more like out in the open. Now, when we butterfly this, we want to try to do it right in half. Again, this flank steak's kind of thin. Um, so what I recommend doing is bringing your meat to the edge of your cutting board, okay? And I'm going to start up here. I'm going to just try and evenly butterfly this, okay? You can go back up, make more than one pass. Try to keep your knife as level as possible, okay? See? That's what we want. So I'm going to come back up again. Don't think you got to do it all in, you know, one foul swoop. Now, once we get to this stage, kind of open it up. All right. Now, I might actually make two here just because of the way this was a little bit thinner. That's probably not a bad idea. So I'll make two little logs. So I'm just going to move this out of the way for right now. Luke getting into trouble upstairs. I'll tell you that. Get that out of the way. All right, so now we butterfly. This is a little bit thinner. This is what we want. All right, now we're going to make it even thinner. We're going to pound it out. Uh, you can put plastic down or paper or whatever you want to do, but you, you got a designated cutting board. I really wouldn't work it. Holy crow, that knife's sharp. Yes, it, it's incredibly sharp. Um, like I said, Phil's knives are probably some of the sharpest knives, if not the sharpest knife I've ever dealt with. So, Pound this out, let's get it nice and thin. meat tenderizing side I suggest doing that hey Jordan how are you or should I say your whole band's there check out Jordan's band no doubt cover band doubtful out of PA unbelievable close your eyes she sounds like Gwen Stefani the whole band's awesome but like really she's the showstopper so check that out Now, could I prep this beforehand? Sure, but this isn't going to be a long recipe, so I don't want to have everything prepped and blow through this in seven seconds, okay? All right, that's good. I'll save that for later. All right, so now we have our meat prepped here. I'm going to season this and let it sit seasoned. Okay. So I have here, this is a, a spice company called Kinders. Uh, this is their prime rib rub. It's really good. I really like this on any kind of beef. So I'm going to hit this. Don't use the little whole side. Give it a nice season on the inside here. This is a beautiful rub. I, I use this, I started using this not that long ago and I'm very impressed with the product. I really like it. Give that a nice, you know, rub in because it is a rub. <laughs> uh, it's got a ton of season. I don't know if it has everything listed here. Salt, garlic, sugar, lemon peel, chili pepper, sunflower oil, mixed seasoning. Oh, that really helps, mixed, mixed seasoning. All right, so let's let that sit here and kind of soak into the meat a little bit. While we're doing that, I probably should have thought this out better, but I'm going to save. I don't need to do that. I don't need this knife. All right, so we're going to make our filling here, our chimichurri. All right, and this is a super, super, super 
simple recipe that I'm doing here. I'm kind of winging it a little bit, to be honest with you. Let's get like four cloves of garlic. Two. Luke's, I'm going to freak out when I'm done this because I know Luke's doing stuff he shouldn't be. So, four cloves of garlic. Peel them. You don't really have to mince them up or anything. Um, I would remove that little woody bit at the end. You know what I'm talking about? If you've cooked before, where the, the root is. But, I mean, you really don't have to do anything crazy with them. Uh, what are we going to do besides garlic? We got a shallot. I'll do a shallot because I had that sitting around. We'll do some parsley, some cilantro, some lime juice, some avocado oil, and a poblano. I do have a poblano too. And that'll make this this nice little sauce that we can stuff our steak with. And also... We're going to top our steak with it if we have enough. Also, let me know what you're drinking. Love to know what you're drinking. It is get sauced. Nah, I'm not supposed to drink anymore. But where's the fun that? I don't have a problem or anything. I don't, I don't even assume that. <laughs> I'm not supposed to drink anymore because of my medical condition. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what happened? I don't want to leave that down there. Luke will eat that. I think it fell. I have no idea where it fell, to be honest with you. No clue. Garlic. There it is. Found it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to watch that. I'm going to watch that. Puppies aren't allowed to have garlic, just so you know. If you didn't know that. All right. Head off. Got the cat hair off of it. Throw that in. Okay. What else we got? We're going to do a poblano. Seeds and all. All I'm going to do is chop the top off real quick. A lot of seeds. I'll leave some of the seeds in. Shallot. Don't wait and don't know what you guys are drinking. That's part of the game here. I'm drinking tequila straight. I got ice. I'm cheating a little bit, I guess. Right. Let's get... What do we got? This is a big old thing of parsley. Yeah, let's get a big old hunk of this in there. Thems and all. I'm going to wash it. Pow. Big old hunk of cilantro, even bigger than our parsley. There's some bad stuff there, though. I don't want that. Oh, I don't want that either. Watch this. Oh, that smells real good. That's some good cilantro right there. Probably a bunch of bugs in it. Cilantro. Let's get some... Lime juice. Do like, do like three quarters. So there's half. Do this part. There we go. The rest is going to my tequila. Cheers. Oh, that's good. What else do I want to put in there? Ooh, I'll do some salt and pepper, some oregano. Got some oregano here. Oregano, black pepper. I don't know what Luke's doing. One second. Luke, come here, buddy. Here, stay. Don't knock anything over. For the love of God, lay down. Lay down. 
Go ahead. You can be a part of the show, but you got to lay down. This is how you wrangle a dog. Luke, lay down, buddy. Go ahead. He's going he's gonna to knock something over. Um, avocado oil. Let's throw some of that in here. That's about good. All right. Let's blitz this real quick. Let's this with our little food processor. Temperamental old bastard that it is. Um, now we don't want this to be like super, super runny or anything like that. So just kind of blitz it a little bit. Kind of go. Let's see what it looks like. Not that bad, but I'm gonna do it a little bit more. That's what I want right there. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! That's exactly what I want. Come here, get it off of there. Don't need that. Let's get a taste here. It's like oh yeah oh yeah yep yeah. perfect that's exactly what I wanted I'm not adding anything to that all right wow awesome Get rid of this. All this crap. Good. Okay. So that's still resting a little bit. Let's get some queso fresco here. And I have some shredded bag cheese, which I know I was telling you guys not to use, but I'm using it tonight because that's what I had. Got a little peel guy here? No, I don't. I'm going to cut you right in half. Queso fresco. Probably use a whole one. We're going to see here. Kind of like a mozzarella. Uh, you might get away with half. How do I describe how this tastes? Food growth no more than mozzarella. It's salty though. It's, it's saltier this particular brand anyway than regular mozzarella cheese. And it crumbles up nice too. All right. So we got our cheese here. Simon's here. He smells cheese and he heard the word probably. All right. Get the rest of this out of the way. I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna use the other cheese to be honest with you. Not all right, now we want to take a chimichurri, or at least some of it. Probably should have that spoon. Uh, put this in here. Uh oh, I hear Emily. She's probably going to tell me all the damage Luke caused upstairs. What did Luke do? I don't know. Okay. Does not. Did you put him in the room? No, he's downstairs right now. Oh. All right. Get this in there. Save some to top our steak with. It's not it's, a spring thing. I'm going to try some. There's no meat in it. Oh. There's no meat? This? No. I'm No, not that. This. <laughs> I thought you were going to. You want to try this? No. What is okay. it? It's, it's like a herb, garlic, onion, a little bit of pepper. She just stuck her tongue out at me. If you guys don't know what I just said there, I'm sorry, but I can't say that. All right. Once this is in here, now we need to wrap. 
I have a good amount here for later. All right, wrap this bad boy with minimal leakage. Oh, then we will bouquet of happiness. All right, there we go. Perfect. Save that for later. That's for me. That's the chef's. Nope. You son of a bitch. All right. So we want this tight, though. This probably isn't as tight as it could. This is not as tight as it could. You want this pretty tight to make it look prettier at the end. All right. Good. Wash my hands. All right. Now we got some skewers here. This is to hold everything together. If I get three out of this, which is fine by me. So skew with my hand. Now, what we do want to do here, just for presentation purposes, make it look pretty. We're just gonna chop the ends off real quick. We'll we'll still cook them. We're still eat them. Don't get me wrong. But like to impress people, this is just gonna look prettier. That. Luke, please don't. You said, Luke, can you get out of here? I tried to tell him. Pieces of string. What's, what happened? What did you disconnect? I lost string. Luke. Emily, you gotta get it out of here. Baby, it's not my fault. I know it's not your fault, but you gotta get it out of here. I'm busy. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know why I lost stream. Am I back? I'm back. I lost you guys for a bit. I don't know what that was, to be honest with you. But I think I'm back. Alright, so I need this string here. I need new strength. This is a disaster. Luke's throwing everything off. All right, let's try this again. Two pieces of string. And wham, wham. Two pinwheels. Nice. So, sorry I disconnected there. I don't know what happened. We're going to try and get this as close to the wood here as we can. Like this. This is just going to help us keep our shape, that's all. That's good. Uh, two more. Now again, this is a great thing to do on a grill or if you have a blackstone awesome to do like in the summer little you know little flair to your cooking it's always good to impress your friends Maybe you're trying to impress a boy or a girl or everything in between whatever so nice and trussed up here I could have got a full steak out of this, but that's cool. All right, so let's cut all our excess string off. Hope you guys are still here. Didn't completely lose you. Now, I'm going to take scissors here, and I'm going to cut these dowels. I 
do it. We're not you. Yeah. Awesome, yeah. Get one of Phil's knives. Trust me. All right. Now we will cut these up. One, these are pretty thick. I could have got another steak out of this. All right, three pinwheels. Let's get cooking. Let's get cooking here. Get a medium high heat going. Trusty old cast iron. Go. Yeah. We're gonna use some avocado oil. Stay on brand here. We can get this pretty hot. So we're gonna sear them. You're gonna sear them on all sides, basically. There's a couple ways you can do it. So they're a little thinner, kind of sear them this way. I'm probably gonna sear it this way and end this way, probably. We'll see. I told you I was kind of winging this one, but. Let's see how it goes. Looks good. Looks real good. I gotta figure out what I'm doing with my towel here. Smells good, looks good. There we go. Oil smoking. Let's see, I got a little piece of meat here. Let's test see if we're ready to sear. Well, just place your meat in. Make sure you're hot enough. Close, not yet. Not yet. Hey, uh, just let me know if I lost you guys completely when that whatever happened. I don't know if my internet went out for a second or what, but just let me know if you can still hear me. All right, so we're nice and hot here. Let's get seared. You know, not add them all at once. I'm going to kind of stagger them just a bit so I don't lower the pan's heat too much. Awesome. Heard me the whole time. Great. So I didn't season the outside of these. Um, we do have the seasoning on the inside. You can season. I think with the cheese, it's a little salty. Probably could have got away with just some black pepper, but I think these are going to come out fine. All right. So we're going to kind of seize it. See, you're going to sear on all sides, or at least the two flat sides, flatter sides, and then we'll flip it. Uh, we'll flip it one way. Vertical, if you will. I need my peel because I am I'm floundering through this one. Luke threw me off. All right, let's see. Nice collar. Nice collar. It smells unreal, just to let you all know. Let's go here. It's right if you lose some cheese in the pan, don't worry about it. Um, sides with this, I would do like a dirty rice. I think that would taste pretty good. I mean, you could do like anything. But I would definitely try to stick with like a, a dirty rice would probably be really good with this. Where are we? That's good. All right. We're going to start. Now, when you do this, you're going to smell your herbs. Your cheese is going to start melting out. That's fine. Don't worry about it.
And because the flank steak is so thin, that you don't need a ton of time to cook this. Like only a couple minutes, flip, flip, flip. Little red meat never killed anybody. Trichinosis probably did, but. When you flip them to the vertical, really let them cook, okay? Also, if you're just joining, my stream's a little messed up, so I don't know who's here, who's not here, but thank you for watching. I'm Sean, this is Get Sauced. I drink, I cook. Hopefully you're drinking too, and enjoying your rainy, gross night that we have tonight here in uh, New Jersey. And uh, we're making uh, flank steak, right? Flank steak uh, pinwheels with a chimichurri. Oh, look. Yeah, we're going to go more on that. Ooh, that chimichurri cooking smells good. Yeah, so again, sides, definitely, definitely dirty rice. I go with the dirty rice. Uh, I didn't do a side because I try to keep these streams at like just at about like 45 minutes to an hour. And sometimes it gets a little hectic when I'm here by myself doing it, so no, no uh, side tonight. I got veggies. There's veggies in here. All right. Now we'll flip. We'll flip here as well. And we'll flip here. Oh, that cheese burned. That's the hot spot. Always got to look, look out for your hot spot. Just cheese. No worries. Everything's still delicious. It's always good to learn the hot spot on your your pan or, or not your pan rather, your griddle or whatever you're using. Your your uh like me, I got this glass top induction. Learn where your hot spot is. That way you don't have those problems. This smells so good. I'm very excited. Now, if you have a side that's a little rare because you couldn't sear it where the dowel is, you can always just pull the dowel out, pull them, pull the dowel out, put them back in for a minute. Probably what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to get this out of the way. If that's raw meat. And I got cooked meat over here. I have a new knife. That way I'm not cross contaminating. Let's see here. All right. I'm going to pull the dowel out. Dowel's out. Dowel's out. Dowel's out. And let's see over here. Use the sand if you have to. Try to stack it up there in the side. Come on. Same thing with this guy. Good. There we go. Almost done. Almost done. Flip. This is going to, if it tastes half as good as it smells, it's going to be delicious. off the heat just because a uh, burnt bits in there. All right, let's cut this up too. Looks like uh, 
Should I let it rest? Probably. Ooh, we are not cooked yet. We're not cooked yet. Need a little more time here. That's all right. Turn our heat down. There we go. Yeah, we are not cooked yet, ladies and gentlemen. Not yet. That's fine. Turn our heat down. Put it back in. Nothing wrong with cooking a little bit longer. That looks so good, though. Nothing wrong with that. Listen. What am I making you? Dude, you're at work, bro. If you were here, you could eat whatever you want. I don't want to hear it. Maybe I'll save you some. We're going to lunch tomorrow. What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm going to cook this a little bit longer. I should have. All right. It happens. That's live cooking. Now I'm not overly burning everything in the pan either. I don't want to use that same spoon in case Emily doesn't want to try this, but I do want to get some of this cheese that's burnt into the pan here. Are you? I will not be reviewing lunch tomorrow. My good friend, name also Sean, and I worked together. We still work together for years. And we are taking one of our previous bosses out to lunch tomorrow. It's been a long time since the three of us went to lunch, so we finally said, "Nope, you're coming. We're doing this." That's the plan. So no review tomorrow. Flip this. This guy, another little flip here. What are we looking here? This one. Oh, this one's ready. It's not pretty, but it is ready. Now I'm going to cheat. Try it. A little tough. Not overly worried. Let's see. It's cooked. Yep. Yep. Wow. That's amazing. There's so much flavor in this. So much. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is delicious. That is perfectly seasoned. Oh, I can't wait for the rest of this to be done. I'm going to eat this. Oh! There is um, an old, not that old, adage, and I wish I could give the chef who I heard it from credit, but I can't remember their name. Can you hold the pinwheel thingy up close? I want to say, okay, I will. Jordan, I will as soon as as soon as we're done, as soon as it's done cooking and I cut it up, I 100% will. But what I was saying was, you know, your your components to a good meal: salt, acid, fat, and heat. And again, I'm just sure if you Google salt, acid, fat, heat, you will find the chef's name who talks about this. I believe she wrote an entire book, cookbook about this. That has everything. That has the perfect amount of everything. Let's 
Let's see. Come on. Oh, man. I'm having a little trouble here, guys. I'm not happy with my cooktop right now. That's like a nice rare. I would eat that. I know most of you won't. I know most of you won't. So I'm going to throw that back on. My cooktop is uh, not performing the way it usually does right now. And I'm a little upset by it, but that's cooking, baby. I might. That's not wrong. Mm. There we go. That'll help cook it. That's on my teeth. I'm not going to pick it. Almost did. Back to my tequila. This is really good, though, guys. I'm, I'm, I can't wait to show you the finished product because, wow. With all my fumbling and everything like that, still tastes good. Again, if you're interested in the first knife I was using, clean it off real quick. This is a custom cleaver by PA Designs. PA Designs with a Z. Look him up on social media. I believe he's selling off some of his stock right now. He's local to uh, the Southern Ocean County area. And this is the cleaver that I got from him. It's incredibly sharp, heavy where it needs to be heavy, but well balanced as well. Um, Phil's an awesome dude. He's just super talented. He's one of the most talented people I've ever met. Custom woodwork, um, blacksmith. I have two knives and an axe that I bought from him plus this. So awesome stuff. Check them out. I know this part's gonna be done now. I'm waiting. I want the good. I want the good cut. Cut here. I'm waiting until we get the good cut. Hopefully that helps steam it a little bit. So Jordan, this is what a section of the pinwheel will look like when it's done. Hopefully you can see that. Just waiting a little bit. Hi, Merv. We're just waiting a little bit for these to cook down just a little bit more. Again, I'll eat it, but like that's a perfect medium rare right there. Wow. I might not even get to like plate this properly because I'm just going to keep eating it. That's awesome. That is awesome. I wouldn't change a thing. I really wouldn't. Hmm. Also, talk about this before. Don't just reach into a pan and pull shit out like I do. Then we don't cook a lot. Bad move. Bad move. All right, I'm going to refrain from eating this one so I can actually plate this. I think we're coming up on, yeah, 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 these are done. I'm going to eat them no matter what. I'm not afraid, I'm going to eat this. Again, you can stuff this with anything. Really, any herbs, spices. But build that flavor. You know, season the inside with something. Then make your whatever you're gonna, you know, spinach, tomatoes, peppers, whatever you're gonna do. I would recommend a cheese because of the fat.
You definitely want that fat in there. But I'm gonna let this rest this time. Instead of being an animal. But look, that's like I don't know if you guys can see that. It's got a nice pink. There's a nice pink in there, nice medium rare. I don't know if that's good enough, but good enough for me to eat. Wow. All right. We're coming up on an hour here. Let's get these things cut and plated. Because, damn it, do I want to eat it. There we go. That's a good. There you go. Here's a good pinwheel, Jordan. Nice medium rare. Nice medium rare. Let's get our string out of here if we can. Nice. Nice medium rare here. Cut this other one, get it plated up nice. Held our shape nicely. Now, a lot of people call these like meat lollipops, they'll leave the skewers in. No problem with that. You could do that. Get a plate. And watch this. Watch this. Dread made an insaneness in my kitchen tonight. What I thought was going to be a relatively easy clean up. Put more of this on there. Plate. Get a picture for the get a picture for the gram. Damn. Alright, I'm gonna sit here for a second. I'm gonna sit here for a second and make sure we're in focus and look pretty. If you're just joining, we made uh blank steak pinwheels with a chimichurri. Okay, so fresco, and damn, are they good. So, again, I'm sitting here. There we go. That's good. You guys can see that. All right, sweet. Stay there for a while. Let's eat. I got to save some of this for my dad. Hopefully he's awake. With a little extra chimichurri, let's see how this tastes. Mm. I lied. That makes it better. That little pop of freshness there. Wow. Yeah, it's uh that's solid. String, no string on there. Yeah, it did. Whatever. That's really good. Very happy with how this came out. There's barely any heat from that poblano. And in my opinion, that's the perfect amount. That was amazing. I got done myself. Damn, I'm good. And humble, if you can't tell. But anyway, thanks for watching. 
please, please, please subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to drop uh, two shorts a week, plus the Friday live streams. And every subscriber helps to my goal of eventually monetizing this channel and really starting to, you know, do this a little bit more full time. I hope uh, you all liked it. I hope you guys try it. Uh, again, I say this all the time. If there's a recipe that you want to see, you would like me to try, restaurant you'd like me to review, kitchen gadget you'd like to talk to, or talk to cheese. Talk about, I actually have a brand new kitchen gadget sitting right over there. But I think if I talk about it without Emily, she'll kill me. Because um, it's Dutch, and I can't talk about anything Dutch without her being here. So, uh, thank you again. Thank you all for coming. Um, I hope you liked it. Please subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, all the, all the, the socials. I don't have TikTok because I'm fucking 32 years old. So, uh, anyway, thanks so much for watching. Cheers. Spread the love. And uh, good sauce.